Hi children, today we are going to discuss about crop production, improvement in food resources, chapter 15. Now let us see what is meant by animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the scientific management of actually animal livestock, domestic animals, rearing domestic animals or livestock, including feeding, breeding and disease control. It is called as animal husbandry. So animal husbandry includes livestock like cattle, goat, sheep, poultry and fish farming. Let us see in detail about this. Cattle farming. Cattle husbandry is done for two purposes. First one is milk production as well as a drought labor for agriculture work such as tilling with the help of oxen or donkeys and irrigation as well as well as carting. So this milk production depends on the duration of the lactation period. What is meant by lactation period? The period of milk production after the birth of the young ones, after the birth of the calf. For example, cow, cow young ones are called as cows. So the milk production depends on the period of lactation period. That is called lactation period. Milk production can be increased by increasing the lactation period. So the cow or the buffalo can give milk. So for a few months, you can extend that period by cattle farming. Let us see what are the exotic or foreign breeds that are useful for cattle farming. First one is Jersey, Brown Swiss or selected for long lact lactation periods. So they give milk for more time. While local breeds such as Red Sindhi and Sahih Wal show excellent resistance to diseases. That means they have greater immunity. The two can be crossbred to get animals with both the desired qualities. So if you crossbreed with the two uh, qualities, then the young ones will have the both the qualities. The parasites of cattle may be both external parasites and internal parasites. The external parasites live on the skin. So the parasites are of two types. They are external parasites as well as internal parasites. The parasite, external parasites live on the skin and mainly cause skin diseases. Internal parasites like worms affect stomach as well as intestinal fluids to damage the liver. Like human beings, animals also get diseases from external parasites from outside as, as well as internal parasites from in, inside. So to prevent these vaccinations, just like human beings are given to them from viral as well as bacterial diseases. Next one is poultry farming. So poultry farming is done for egg production as well as chicken meat. Therefore, improved poultry breeds are developed and farmed to produce layers for egg production and broilers for meat. So the chicken is coming from broiler, broiler chickens or broiler hens. The crossbreeding programs between Indian Azil and foreign leghorn breeds are done to develop new varieties. If you see the picture of Azil, this is Azil. And this is like horn. If you crossbreed these, the crossbreeding programs have been done in India to develop new varieties. For good production of poultry birds, they are given 
proper nutrition as well as kept in hygienic conditions to prevent from many bird flu like diseases and proper temperature conditions the boy broiler chickens are fed with vitamin protein and over fat rich feed for better growth they also should be fed with better nutrition for getting proper production next poultry fowl are affected by diseases caused by virus bacteria fungi and parasites like they are very vulnerable species so they are affected by many diseases they are protected from diseases by proper sanitation spraying spraying disinfectants and vaccination so these are some of the species of uh, chickens poultry next is fish production so the fish production also uh, can be done that is called as pisciculture fish is a source of animal protein every one of uh, human beings will take the fish as their diet there are two ways of obtaining fish first one is natural sources called as capture fishing front from fish farming called as culture fishery the water sources of fish can be sea water or fresh water like ponds rivers as well as lakes first one is marine fisheries the popular marine fish varieties are mackerel tuna sardines etc they are caught by fishing nets from boats so these are some of the uh, fishes cutla fish roku common carp mrigal silver carp as well as grass carp these are the fishes we culture these are uh, and again these are divided into two types marine fisheries as well as inland fisheries inland fisheries is uh, done culture fishery is done in fresh water and brackish water where sea water and fresh water mix together that is called as brackish water brackish water is where sea water as well as fresh water mix with each other is called as brackish water and it can also be called as estuary sometimes fish culture is done in combination with paddy crops so you can do agriculture i mean agriculture is nothing but actually crop production as well as animal rearing so with the with fish culture you can also grow paddy this is called as composite fish culture the common fishes in inland fish farms are these this is a roho variety of fish mrigal fish cutla fish mrigal mrigal common carp silver carp grass carp all these comes under inland fisheries next one is bee keeping so the honey bee culture is also uh, produced so honey also can be produced by honey bee keeping that is called as apiculture apiculture is done to obtain honey as well as wax these are used in our daily life honey is used as a source of energy and also has number of medical uses wax is used in medicinal preparations and for making polishes or tarnishes so the tarnishes which we use in our furniture in that wax can be used the local varieties of bees used are honey production or indian bee rock bee and the little bee an italian variety of bee is also uh, used for large scale production of honey the bees collect nectar from flowers and convert them convert into honey in the bee hives bees are artificially grown in apiaries and the honey is extracted by a machine called as honey extractors this is bee hive this is bee hive uh, the bees collect actually the honey from the flowers flowers nectar and they produce honey and this is called as an apiary apiary and this is honey extractor if you put this bee hive if you put this bee hive into this and uh, uh, rotate this you can get the honey this is called as honey extractor thank you